six or seven years old. My, my father was worshipping, so I want to be imitated. I asked him, give me duty. So he gave me. Did you wash them and play with them? Yes. Wash, change dress. Set them? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Do you still? Huh? Do you still? Do you still wash them and feed them and play with yes. them? Yes. And now my disciples, I am. <laughs> At home I was doing that. Yeah. What are you reading? Srimad Bhagavatam. This is original Sanskrit. Uh, there are uh, eight commentaries by big, big stalwart scholars. These are the commentaries? Yes. And this is the text? This is the text. What does the Sanskrit sound like? Eh? What does the Sanskrit sound like? Is that to be the Srimad Bhagavatam to be chanted? Yeah, just like I did some parts. Tasmai tubbhaṁ bhagavati vāsudi vāya vidhasi ātmā mādhatta gunai śyanna mahinni brahmani namaha jasya avatārā jāyanti sarīraśva sarīranaha tai sai sulla bījai dehishu avishankati savavān sarvalūka sabhavāya bhivavāya ca Abha, Abha Thina, Sabhani, Sahang Sabhani, Sam Pratam, Purisari Sam, Nama Parama Kalyana, Nama Parama Mangala, Vasudi Vaya, Shantaya, Jidanam, Patai Nama. It's a very beautiful oh, yes. prosody. Oh, yes. The poetry writing is very difficult. Yeah. They have got rhetoric system. So many words should be first, so many words yes. second. You cannot deviate. Yes. Uh, then the analogy, a metaphor should be like that. Yes. Never, nothing should be twice repeated. Yes. So there is Saita Ratna. Saita Ratna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, defeated one great scholar simply by little mistake. Yes. Uh, Keshav Kashmiri. Keshav Kashmiri was a great scholar and uh, great Sanskrit great scholar means he must fluently uh, speak in Sanskrit verses, everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything he says oh, must be done in that is perfect Sanskrit. Sanskrit verses? Yes. That is Sanskrit scholar. Not in prose. Uh-huh. Uh, he'll go on composing verses. Uh, so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at that time was sixteen years old boy, but he was very learned, logician. So the case of Kashmiri, he, he was traveling all over India uh, by, I mean to say, competing other pandits, other learned scholars. So he everywhere he was victorious. So he came to Navuddhi. In those days, Navuddhi. And Banaras and Urupi and uh, in Kashmir. In four or five places were very scholarly. I have been to Birbhum. Ah, Birbhum? I've, been, I've been through Birbhum, yes. Ah. Navadip also. Ah. So when he came to Navadhi, that was it. in all other places he was victorious. So all the Navadhi Pandits, they conferred that uh, Nimai Pandi should be forwarded to top it. And if he is defeated by Nimai Pandi, then we will become victorious because a boy has defeated him. Mm-hmm. But if uh, Nimai Pandi becomes defeated, then we will get another chance. No, oh, you have defeated a boy. Let us come. Uh, in this way they make. Mm-hmm. So Keshav Kasmiri was informed that first of all he had to talk with Nimai Pandi. So one day Nimai Pandit, uh, boy Nimai Pandit was talking with his disciple, a uh, student, uh, and Kesav Kashmir was strolling on the Ganges side. 
So he heard that this boy is Nimaya Pandit, so I left to talk with him. He is a boy. So he went there, and when he was acquainted at Kesha Pras, he Nimaya Pandit, oh, please come down and see him. So Nimaya Pandit said that I have heard that you are so learned scholar, now you are on the Ganges side. Uh, you can uh, chant the glorification of Mother Ganges. So you are here and in India. So he was very learned scholar, immediately composed hundred verses. One hundred. And fluently, very fluently, he went on. Uh, then uh, out of that one hundred verses, in the sixty-fourth verse, there was some poetic discourse. The word was bhavani bhatta. Bhavani means the wife of bhava. Lord Shiva is called bhava. Lord Brahma is called aja. And Lord Shiva is called bhava. Bhava means from whom everything is born. Lord Shiva is the father of this bhava. So, Chaitanya Mahal said that in the sixty-four verse uh, we have stated bhavani bhatta. Bhavani means the husband of... Uh, uh, bhavani means the wife of uh, bhava, Lord Shiva. So it is known that she has husband, then why you say bhatta again husband? Uh, yes. You know, Islam is not able to understand this, yes. Dirukti dosh. This is called dirukti dosh. Repeating twice one thing. Dirukti dosh. That is dosh. Dosh means fault. Means? Dosh. The Sanskrit word it is called dirukti dosh. Yes, dirukti, yes. D means two. Two for. Rukti means uh, utterance. Uh-huh. And dosh means fault. Uh, fault, yes. Fault, yes. Dirukti dosh. So he was conscious. Then he said, Well, I, I understand that you are a student of grammar. Uh, how do you detect this? This literary uh, discrepancies. Uh, uh, no, I am a student. I am your student. I, of course, I am not a scholar, but I have heard that. Uh, this is told like that <laughs> from other scholars I have heard. Yeah. How could you remember? I, I cited one hundred verses and I will remember the sixty-four verses. Oh, I can repeat the whole verses. <laughs> How is that, that we can repeat? How you learn? Oh, that is grace of Mother Saraswati, just like you can compose. A hundred person, uh, verses within a few minutes. Uh, I can, whatever you say, I can remember. Uh, but formally, uh, that was the system of understanding Vedas. Yes. Sruti. Simply by hearing. Yeah. Once they hear from the spiritual master, they remember. The memory was so sad. Therefore, this Brahmachari system is so yeah. nice. They can enhance their memorizing power. Did uh, Chaitanya, the Lord Chaitanya, worship uh, Saraswati now? No. no. He was Vaishnava, but every demigod is worshipped. It is not that one should neglect. Or respect. He respects yes. Saraswati. Yes. yes. Um, okay. I know one mantra of Bengali to Saraswati. Uh, Chaya Jaya Devi, Chaya Jarasari, Kucha Juga Sohita Mukta, Hare Vinna Nandita Pushaka Hasti, Vagabhati Bharati, Devi Namaste. Saraswati is For poets. <laughs> Students are supposed to offer stuttas. Students. No. Students, especially. Uh, was that a mantra for students for Saraswati? Yeah. Vidya, the goddess of learning. The Saraswati, uh, in our childhood we used to watch the Saraswati. Please, Mother, give me uh, pass this examination. <laughs> that I all prayer. 
So, Tana uh, students, uh, they, they laughed very loudly. And they saw that Chaitanya has come out very victorious in the beginning. They second, uh, he said, no, I stop. Then he stopped all these talkies and then, so you, you are so, I have to talk with you, you are very bland and ordinary formalities. Then they, he went away and he was also great watcher of Mother Saraswati. Then um, he began to pray Saraswati, Mother Saraswati, by your grace, I have become victorious in so many places. And what is this that I am defeated by a boy? He is a grammar student. Uh, so I, he began to pray, and Mother Saraswati uh, informed her that uh, she is, uh, he is a God, my husband. So you speak, man, I speak. So how can I defeat my husband? That is not. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can put here. Yeah. Hey, I did not attempt to talk with him, he went away. Huh. And, and uh, Mother Saraswati advised him that you surrender unto him. Then that will be your uh, nice role. Yes. So uh, later on he became a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya. Kesha Kashmiri. Mm-hmm. Kesha Kashmiri. Kesha Kashmiri. Kesha Kashmir. from Kashmir. Uh, yes. His name was. Pandit Keshav, and because he belonged to Kashmir province, uh, uh, he was uh, Nimbarka Sampradaya, Vaishnava. There are four Sampradayas. Uh, the Vaishnava devotees, they are coming, one from Lord Brahma, and one from Lakshmi. They are called Sri Sampada. And those who are coming from Brahma, they are called Brahma Sampada. And one from Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is also a great devotee. Uh, out of uh, twelve great authorities, Lord Shiva is one. Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, and Narad, Sambhu, Narada, Sambhu. Sambhu means Lord Brahma. Uh, Shambhu. Uh, Sambhu. Sambhu. Sambhu means self bore. Self. Self bore. Yes. Uh, he is not born of an uh, ordinary mother and father. There was a lotus from the Vishnu, and that lotus he has bought. Therefore, he is called Sambhu, self-born. I knew a Naga sadhu in uh, Manikarnika Ghat mm. named Sambhu Bhakti Baba. Uh, Sambhu, Sambhu is another name of Lord Shiva. Sambhu. Sambhu Narada Sambhu. Ah. He is called Sambhu, and Shiva is called Sambhu. Vaishnavaraṁ jathā sambhu. Uh, so, sambhu nārada sambhu kumāra kopila manu. Uh, kumāra. There is a sampradaya from kumāra. Four kumāras. Brahmacārya. They were sons of Brahmā. When they were born, Lord Brahmā said that he now make marry and 
produce who you want population in the creation, in the beginning. So they refuse, oh, we are not going to marry. Oh, we shall remain brahmacharya, devout. Oh, then Lord Brahma was angry. Oh, you are refusing your father's order. So, so from, when he was angry, his, red, his eyes become red from that Shiva was born. Therefore his name is Rudra. Red. Rudra. Rudra means anger. So when Lord Shiva becomes angry, and the whole thing is finished. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sambhu, Narada Sambhu, Kumara, Kopila, Kopila, Lord Kopil. The propounder of Sangha He is also accepted as incarnation of God. Kapil. And Manu, Manu, father of mankind, who has given the Manu Samhita, law. In that law it is stated, nasyam satantatam arhati, that no man does not deserve independence. Manu has given yeah. This is Manu Smriti. So Vedic culture means to follow the regulated principle. But from Manu to Keshav Kashmiri is... No, no. no I am speaking the original authority. Uh-huh. So this uh, Kumar Sampradaya, it belongs to this Keshav Kashmiri. Uh-huh. Kumar Sampradaya. Uh, down there known as uh, Ramanuj, Madhacharya, Vishnu Shani and Nimbara. You had been in Vrindavan, you have seen the temple of Makya No, I don't remember. No. I didn't know the names of the oh. places I saw. But you have seen the temples? Yeah, I went to all the temples I could find. But I didn't know enough to know what stories were associated oh, yeah. with the temples or what were the names. No, Arsiv is the same, Radha Krishna. Yeah. Only Ramanu Sampradaya, they uh, worship Lakshmi Nara because it is sampradaya from Lakshmi. So they uh, worship. Narayan is another name for Shiva. Eh? Narayan is another name for Shiva. No. no. Narayan is Vishnu. Vishnu. That is Krishna's expansion. Uh-huh. According to Chaitanya, uh, Vishnu is an expansion of, of Krishna. Of Krishna. Rama the Murti in the Brahma Sangita it is stated. Rama the Murti is Galani Amena Tishthan Nana Avatara Makarat Bhuvanesha Kintu. Krishna sang. Krishna sang, sang means person, the Supreme Person. Sabamava Parama Pumani. Parama means the Supreme, Puman means the uh, Purusha, the male. God is male. God is not female. The conception of female to God, that is not some authorized. Parama Pumanu. So female is prakriti, nature. Parasya Sakti, Vividai Sakti. So he has got many energies. The whole thing is manifested by energy. Multi-energies. Vishnu Shakti Paraprokta. Vishnu, the energy of Vishnu is transcendental, spiritual. Khetra Gakya Tatha Para. And as also this Khetra Shakti, marginal potency, that is also transcendental, that is living entity. They are also transcendent. They are not material. Avidya, karma sangha, anya, tritya, shakti, rishyate. Another shakti, another energy is there. That is avidya, darkness. This is material energy. 
So living entity is originally spiritual, transcendent, as good as Krishna's personal energy. But uh, now they are covered by this material energy. How did the material covering begin? It began as the material shadow. Yeah. How did we fall into that? Yeah. That, uh, that, that is very uh, natural. Just like, come on. Because jiva, although parashakti, he has got independence. So when he wants to imitate Krishna, in the spiritual world, Krishna is the enjoyer. And all others, they are enjoyed predominator and the predominating. The Lord is the predominating. So there is no disagreement. There they know the Lord is predominator we are to serve. When this Hanvi's attitude is impaired, so why not why serve Krishna? Why not ourselves? That is my that he falls down in material image. There is no scope, just like uh, and the government system, uh, there is no scope of freedom. You have to act according to government state laws. So long you are agreement, then you are free. If you disagree, then your place is in the prison house. Similarly, uh, jiva, independent, not fully independent, but they have got, because part and parcel of God, Therefore, that independence quality is there. So when that independence quality is misused, then his place is in the material. Krishna bhuliya jīvi bhogavan chakare. When we forget Krishna and try to lord it over something, Krishna is the Supreme Lord. When I try to imitate His Lordship, then our place is in the material world. We are given freedom or light, we lord it over here. So here every living entity is trying to lord it over. It's competition. I am trying, uh, individual-wise, nation-wise, everyone is trying to lord it over. And that is material existence. And when he comes to his senses, Gyanava, that I am false, be trying to lord it over. Rather I am becoming implicated with material energy. When he comes to that, then he surrenders. Then again his liberated life begins. That is the whole process of spiritual life. Therefore Krishna says, Sarvadanman Paritya Mami Kang Saranamaya. Don't manufacture uh, ways and means falsely trying to lord it over, that you will not be happy. Because you cannot lord it over the material nature. It is impossible. If we try to violate the government laws, is it possible for me? No. If I am to live as citizen, it is not possible for me. Then I am implicated more and more. This is crude example. Mm-hmm. Similarly, we are part and parcel of the Supreme. Uh, just like there is a story, Udarindriyana Hitopadesh. You heard the name of Hitopadesh? Yeah. Business Arma. From Hitopadesh they say Isop's Pebble was translated. Isop's Pebble. Mm-hmm. There are stories like that. One dog is speaking to another yeah. monkey, monkey is like that. Yes. He told about this. Jataka tales, I know. Eh? I know the Buddha Jataka, Jataka tales. Uh-huh. So, uh, so, there is a story in Udar Indriyana. Udar means this belly. And Indra, the senses, hands, legs. 
So all these senses, they conferred that we are working day and night and this rascal is eating simply. So we shall not cooperate. We shall not work. That's all right. Resolution has passed. So they stop working. The next meeting they saw that we are becoming weak. Why? Then the hand wasn't bringing food to the mouth. <laughs> then they come to the earth and say, so we have to feed this rascal belly, otherwise we become weak. Similarly, what is this position? This hands, legs are parts and parcel of the whole. Similarly, the whole Brahma, absolute, we are all parts and persons. So we shall cooperate in satisfying Him, <coughs> then automatically we become satisfied. If we non-cooperate, then we suffer. But if you call Brahma the Absolute, how do you make a distinction between Brahma and Krishna? That I explained the other day. Yeah. The sun sign, the sun glow, and the ah. sun God. Ah, yes. Apparently the sun sign appears to be very, very big. Mm-hmm. But it is concentrated in the sun glow. And when you enter the sun glow, it is concentrated in the sun glow. Where is the origin of this image of the sun? Huh? Is it where is the origin of this image of the sun? Is this a, an, an old Vedic yeah. Shastric explanation? Yeah, yeah there is Shastric explanation. He is incarnation of Nara. Uh-huh. So Nara is powerful. He is driving in four horses. He has got a chariot of four horses and very powerful. Jachakshuri is a Savita. Savita, his name is Savita. The Gayatri Mantri is Om Guru Sat Savitu Bharanam Bhargu Deva Sadhimai. That is worshiping the Sun God. Do you use uh, Gayatri Mantri yes. also? I know some of it, Om Guru. Yes, Om Bhur Bhuva Sat Tat Savitu Bharanam Bhargu Deva Sadhimai. Dio Juna Prasudaya. This Gayatri, this is called. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, among poetic meters, I am Gayatri. Yes. Gayatri is the origin of Vedic knowledge. Without Gayatri, uh, nobody is accepted as competent to study. That is the beginning. Uh, spiritual master, Dijo, second birth, first birth by the father and mother. Second birth by the spiritual master, father, and mother, Gayatri. Do you teach Gayatri mantra yes. to, you, to your disciples also? Yes. Not in the beginning, yes. when they are little advanced. Prabhupada, can you tell me what you want for prasadam today? Yes, the same. Eggplant? Uh, or string beans? Whatever you like. So give me four chapatis, yes. little rice, and any vegetable, that's all. Don't put much butter here, yes. <laughs> Old age we cannot now digest too much butter. Yeah. That creates air. Yeah. Although at night I don't take anything. Uh-huh. Once I eat. And in the morning I take little fruits. Mr. Ginsburg is telling me downstairs that the president is going to come to Ohio State. Nixon. Nixon, President Nixon. In one month. That's so. For the graduation. He told the students to uh, chant. Hare Krishna to Nixon. So that uh, he can hear it. Ready? Well, I'll tell you, my feeling was this. I was thinking about it from a lot of different uh, angles. Uh-huh. I was thinking about it from a lot of different viewpoints. Uh, one is that there is a lot of resentment of the president and of the government here from the young people who are going to be sent to war or who don't like the war. There is likely to be conflict here when the president comes. One reason this place was picked for the president to come 
was that it is relatively uh, many, many police around here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> many police and very heavy uh, Police spirit. tank is very heavy. Yeah. Here, this part, police tank, very heavy. Mm -hmm. So that it would be dangerous to, to show aggression <laughs> and to show real conflict. But there is a lot, all that energy that wants to express itself and basically peaceful energy. So what I suggested was that they greet him by chanting Hare Krishna as a way of manifesting the feeling. I think it would make sense because now there are a lot of students who know the Hare Krishna mantra. Yeah. So they might do it. When he's coming? One month from now. Uh, May, was it uh, June? For commencement. Commencement, the graduation. In, in some lecture he said that I want to meet some religious heads. Yeah. Uh, so one of my um, girl students in, in San Francisco, uh, she very educated, she wrote one letter to Niksha. Uh, I got the copy. Yeah. Uh, that uh, Sami is spreading this Krishna consciousness movement. It is being appreciated by the young, etc. So Sami will be glad to see if he <coughs> make some appointment. But he never replied. Well, this university he chose because it's supposed to be typical <laughs> of America. <laughs> so if in this typical university the young people greet him by chanting Hare Krishna, yeah. then he may well invite you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think I, I came here with this idea that in America they are in need of these things and they are wanting something substantial. So if some facility is given, of course I am doing my bit as far as possible. Uh, but if some organized things are done, a like government help or people help, then this movement can be pushed further mm -hmm. nicely. Yeah. Otherwise, slowly it will go on, as Krishna desires. <coughs> so, as Ginsberg said, he also chanted uh, Hare Krishna for Robert Kennedy before, uh, yeah, before that he died. Yeah, yes. I think I told you about that, didn't I? Uh, you told me in San Francisco. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, you're, you're two rounds of it. <laughs> so. Okay, I have to take a plane today. Ah. To a Catholic college in New York State. I'll be going out back to New York oh. at one o'clock. So I have to go back and pack, oh. and say goodbye to the students. It's a pleasure to see you here. Lovely. <laughs> so maybe we do it again in New York. Yeah. Okay. I'll go on. Thank you for your, right. your words and thank you for letting me join. Nah, my you are already chanting, and but uh, if we do. do Together, it yeah. will be very nice. So let's do yeah. something together in New yeah. York City this summer. I'm free all summer. Uh, so it's at your convenience this time, because I'll be free. I don't have any. Right. I don't have any dates or appointments. All right. So if you just let me know, maybe two, oh, yeah. two weeks, or somebody let me know a few weeks in advance, yeah. I can come down from the farm. Yeah. Spend a day with you and then we chat. Yeah. Okay. I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, yeah. Give him that garden.